I'm at really cool Comic Con in Flint, Michigan. It's August 3rd, 2024. So let's check it out. Michigan. Like I said, it's a really cool Comic Con. So I'm going to show what I picked up from here after I show this video. So let's check it out.
Are you on YouTube?
that illumination. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Thank you.
check out my comic closet. I'm Lynn. Hope you enjoyed that. That was video from the really cool Comic-Con in Flint, Michigan. It was at the Dort Financial Event Center. And, um, you know, there was a lot of stuff there. It was a pretty big room. They actually had a couple of rooms. They had an area where they had the escape um, thing, the escape, whatever you call it, exhibit. You could escape from a cage. There was a concession stand. They had a big gaming room off to the side that you could see there. And um, different things, you know, they had the, like the stormtroopers, the 501st, um, and I don't know what else, a couple other types of things that you could sign stuff up for. I don't know what they were actually doing. I just kind of looked at it. I'm there for the comics mostly. So if you like and want to see more of this kind of content, I'd appreciate it if you give me the thumbs up down below. Or like, comment. I need some comments. It helps get the word out there. The more comments I get, the more it gets spread around. And also, um, share it and subscribe. I'd like, like to get some subscribers. I'm working on, you know, trying to get as many as possible. I'm hoping to get up to 250. I'm at 249 right now, and I'm going to do a giveaway, which I think is going to be one of these slabs. I've got two of these that are nine sixes and I'm going to crack them out, press them and send them in, get them regraded. Hopefully I'll get a grade bump. If I get a nine eight on one of them, that's what I'm going to give away. So anyway, like I say, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know what's going on. Maybe see you at a show coming up. So as you can see, I bought the um, really cool Comic-Con shirt. I also bought a little magnet. It's like it's got the same, it's the same logo. I'll get a picture of it there. I set it somewhere and I don't see it. But it's not that big a deal. You know, it was like a couple bucks. I think these shirts were like 15, 10 or 15, I forget now. But I also grabbed a couple of these. They had a lot of stuff for the upcoming shows. The um, Monroe Comic-Con is coming up. When was that? September 13th and 14th, which is the weekend of opening, weekend before the opening day of the small game season. So I don't know. I doubt I'll be there. I might be there. Grand Rapids, no, Monroe. I mean, I've never been to that one. Or guest announcements coming soon. They're going to have Tony Norga. I'm not sure. He looks familiar. Clint Howard, who is, um, he's been in a lot of movies. And Linda Young. She must be a voice actress. So there's that. And then, of course, the Grand Rapids Comic Con is coming up. November 15th through the 17th, 2024, at the DeVos Place, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And um, they got a whole bunch of guests there. I'll read, I'll read those off in another. I'm going to do another video here showing my weekly pickups from New Comic Book Day. Because this is already too long, of course. But I'm, I appreciate you sticking with me this, this far. Okay, August 23rd and 25th. PopCon. I didn't realize I had this. Louisville. I'm assuming it's Louisville, Michigan. PopConLouisville.com. When there's a QR code, website and tickets. I'll put a picture of this up. Yeah, I mean, there is a Louisville, Michigan over on the east side, east coast up there. I think it's just a little above um, Port Huron. Then there was um, oh Michigan Anime Convention, August 2nd and 3rd. That's at the Suburban Collection Showplace, which is where they have the Motor City Comic Con. Michigan Anime Convention. So, anyway, those are all the, um, some of the upcoming shows. Of course, the Motor City Comic Con. That's going to be in November and save the date. And then, of course, the Great Lakes Comic Con is in February of 2025. Weekend, I think the 22nd, 23rd. So I believe the 24th, which is my birthday, is on a Monday. So the weekend before that, I will probably, almost for surely, be at Great Lakes Comic Con. That is at um, Macomb Community College Center. This is like the sports tent center. So anyway, I'm going to show these books I picked up at the really cool Comic Con. But first... I'm going to read a dad joke, just for the heck of it. So, whoops. I'm going to grab one of these cards off the top of the dad joke by Total Embarrassing Dad Joke Cards. Deck of cards my wife got me for uh, Christmas last year. And I'm going to read them. Read them cold. 
So, where do cats like to go on vacation? The Canary Islands. Because they eat them, right? Cat caught the canary. What do mice eat on their birthdays? Cheesecake. All right. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Got to laugh at a math joke, right? I don't know about that. So anyway, all right. These are the books I picked up. And she's his first one. I think I picked up six of them here. From Just Joke <laughs> Thanks a lot. Take a picture of this. Oh. This is my third engraved slap. Here we go. Yeah. All right. These first set of books I picked up from Just Joe King and the Psycho Punk Chick. Um, first thing I picked up was this Sin City, Six of Six. This is my book of my. Advertisement for my LCS, Town's Corner. Two of them, Rochester Hills and Fraser, Michigan. So check them out and join the Collector's Club. 25% off Collector's Club and get all you know, your books at a discount. So, Sin City number six of six, the miniseries, the original miniseries. Frank Miller Art. I think Frank Miller Art and Story, right? Sin City, this is four of six. And then I got. Sin City 1. So I got 1, 4, and 6. So I need 2, 3, and 5. So I'm going to keep an eye out for those. Hope we can get them cheap. Sound on the road. I'm always looking for them. I also got this Johnny Quest number 8. As you can see, I've got my Johnny Quest books up here. Because they're kind of running with these. This is Johnny Quest number 7. And this is 6. Five and four. Five here has a Dave Stevens cover, which will come into play in a minute. And they're all signed by William Mesnerlose. Actually, that's, that's number three down there. And this is number eight. So it's after this. And there is, I got another book about up here. And then I got this Marvel Age number one, which just got a really cool group cover. And I don't know, to me, it looks like, I think it's John Byrne cover so I grabbed it I mean it's like three bucks he has them for five bucks each three for ten and I grabbed six and this one also is um, the new mutants 97 right so that's just before Deadpool comes out and it's got a great cable Wolverine cover. All right, Deadpool 98. So, this issue before that, I don't have the original you know, 98 yet. Yet. But I do have a couple of um, facsimiles or true believers types things. All right, so that's all the ones I picked up from Just Joe King and the Psycho Punk Chick, but I did get from Brandy these four Deadpool pins. I forgot what she gave me two before. Now I got a discount. I think she had buy two, get one free, but I bought four. So I got one free. I got a couple other ones that I've got from her. This is my bag I take with me to my shows. If I don't want to take my big push cart. But anyway, I'll put some pictures of the Deadpool pins up. You can see them better. From Brandy, she's got all those. And she's got the hats with the little ears. You squeeze the thing down here and the ears pop up. They got blinking lights. They're great for the kids. I think they're 10 bucks each. Be great for the kids, though. So anyway, that's everything I got from Just Joking. For 20 bucks, right? Yeah. Then I got these. I'm not sure who I got these from now. Secret Invasion. Number one, variant edition. Everything was marked 10 bucks. Well, everything was half price in the boxes. Remember that. 
It might be OC, but who I got it from in there. I'll see if I can point it out. Also, I got this Marvel 2-in-1 with a Thing and Starhawk, which has the cocoon on it for her. I also have, well, I have the Thor book that has the cocoon for him. I also have this graded Thor book, which is the first appearance of him. So I got that out because of that. And then I bought this Marvel What If Wolverine Father, number one, five bucks. Never seen that before. And then I got this Johnny Quest, number one, for five bucks. Because I actually didn't realize that I already had a Johnny Quest, number one. I'm not sure where I even got that one from, but I have two of them now. I think I just need a number two, right? And a three, and number two. But I also got this Marvel Fanfare, number 59, which has got a great Shanna cover. Which I also have this, I've got a bunch of Marvel Fanfares, but these were available. Marvel Fanfare 33, which has got a great Rogue cover, Wolverine. I guess Cable there. Not sure who that's supposed to be now. And then this is um, Marvel Fanfare 46, which has got, you know, there's a great, pretty well-known She-Hulk cover. I think that guy was like the brute or bruiser, the arm sticking in there. Okay, then I got these. I forget where I got these from, too. I think they're from Glenn. I'm not sure. Anyway, Spider-Man 193, which is where he's fighting the fly. Human fly, they call him, or just the fly? I don't really know. Anyway. Spider-Man 193. This is good, very good. Grade, you know, hit it on the back. It actually has three dollars on it there, but they got ten dollars there. Who knows when that was written on there? Okay, this is Amazing Spider-Man 181, which I don't think I have. It's got floating heads of Lizard, Doom, Doc Ock, and Kingpin. I love the floating head covers and Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 176, which is a great Spider-Man cover, Flash Thompson, somebody trying to kill him, I forget, it looks like the Green Goblin, Shadow there, and then of course it's Spider-Man 175, which is an early Punisher appearance, which, um, I think it says 174, which is an even earlier Punisher appearance. I think Punisher was still considered a villain back then. Not sure exactly what year that is. And the Spider-Man 165, where he's fighting Stegron, looks like, in a museum or something, because there's a dinosaur bones. So. I think that was, was it was 15, 30, 45, 59, 69, and I think yeah, this was 10 also. I think he gave them to me for 70 bucks. So basically I got this book free. Then I grabbed this one, which was just a, I happened to see it at the end of the day when I was ready to leave, which is a Dave Stevens cover, Alien World number two. As you can see, I've got Alien World number four here, which is the other Dave Stevens covers from that run, I believe. I don't think there's others. I'll have to look into it. I happen to have some Dave Stevens because I had this. I've got some more Rocketeer stuff that I didn't look up, find out. This stuff I bought a while back. That's a DC Who's Who, which has the Phantom Lady, like the biography in it, and Dave Stevens art, the illustration of Dave Stevens. This is a Rocketeer, which is Dave Stevens cover. I think it's Dave Stevens' interior art. Of course, Alien World 4, which goes with this Alien World 2. Then this is Airboy number 1. And then Airboy number, I'm not sure if this was 2. 
That's number three. I don't have two. And this is Airboy number five, which is another Dave Stevens cover. One of his most famous. I've seen posters of that around. There's Airboy down there, got her by the leg. And of course, and this is Airboy number six, which has still got Valkyrie on the cover, if you can see it there. And then of course, this is Airboy number seven, which is just kind of a cool cover. Actually, I bought the whole set. One, two, three, four, five books for 50 bucks. Which I think this one's going for damn near 50 bucks at the time. I mean. So, that's my Dave Stevens stuff. That one's only with Dave Stevens there. And then, man, it's been a week and a half now. Oh, I got this Yandu number one, which has got a cool looking picture of Yandu, where I actually I think he looks more like Michael Rooker there than he did originally. The Yandu page from the official hand was official handbook of the Marvel Universe. Yandu's in this book, and this is a new book. It's got the page in it. This is a complete book. It's in really great shape. This I tore out of my original book, which I still have that book, and had Michael Rooker sign it. So I'd like to go to a show where Michael Rooker is and have him sign this. So it's a really cool looking book, and it's in really nice shape. So I got that, and then I also grabbed these two. These are actually, this is, um, Made in Spider-Man 2, but it's like the second part of, these books all came in like newspapers. I had a subscription to the Free Press, and these came in like every Thursday. They'd have a different Spider-Man book, and this is Spider-Man number one. And there, all the stories were split into two, so you'd have the original art, starting at Amazing Fantasy 15, I believe. The original art on the first cover, and then the second cover had an alternate cover. Some of them, I think, were supposed to be alternate designs for the original covers, but I, I'm not really sure about all that. So anyway, that's everything I picked up at the really cool Comic-Con in Flint, Michigan. So, appreciate you checking me out here. Um, today I'm trying to get up to as many subscribers as possible, but when I get to 250, I'm going to give away a slab, and I'm going to make it a 9-8 slab. What I'm going to do is either, I'm going to crack, I've got two of these. I'm gonna crack these out of the slabs, the nine sixes. They don't, they don't look like they've been pressed at all. So I'm gonna press those, and then I have these two, which are nine sixes. One's a, you know, adjectiveless Spider-Man number one, and one's adjectiveless Spider-Man number 13. So I'm gonna send these, I'm gonna crack both of these out also, press them. I don't think they've either one's been pressed either. They, they look really nice. So I'm going to try to press those. I got some other books, maybe some 9.6s I might crack out. But I, I may send in like a small order of pre-screens. So when I, get, when I get back, if I get one of those Venom books back in 9.8, or one of these other ones, I'm going to give one of those away. So maybe I'll give it a choice. In order, in all, you know, it depends on what I get back. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my giveaway once I hit 250. So anyway. Thanks for checking me out here at My Comics Closet. Keep on coming back. We take comic and comic collecting right out of the closet. So, thank you.